Hi, this is Jason Zawadzki, shaper and designer for Hydrus Bortec. Welcome to the shop. Let's check out my personal favorite flat water ice up. This is the Paradise. It's our touring style 12 6 by 30 inch wide inflatable paddleboard. This board will get you from point A to point B quicker than almost any other inflatable board. The width is narrow enough to give it a nice long fast water line like a race board but not nearly as narrow or unstable as a race board. It's perfect for a lot of riders who have at least some confidence in their stability or for somebody who's intending to use paddle boarding for fitness or will be paddling some distance. If you want to max out stability, please look at our Joyride or Joyride XL models or contact us and we'll answer any questions you might have and we'll make sure to get you set up properly. Okay, let's take a closer look here. Uh, the rocker on this board is a big deal for this type of board. You don't want an inflatable touring style board without at least some tail rocker. And oddly enough, there aren't many out there that have tail rocker. Most brands just completely overlook it or they just don't bother because it's a little bit more difficult to, uh, to construct inflatables with tail rocker, but it makes a big difference. The tail rocker allows the water to release cleanly off the tail, tail of the board and it uh, makes it a lot more stable in, in chop. And it makes this board a great downwinding board. Like the Joyride and Joyride XL, this board here has 12 D-rings for strapping down gear here if you, need, if you need to. And these back here are a great place for a cooler or uh, some, some folks like to put a kayak seat, which you can do. At the back here is your leash D-ring. And then on the bottom front, is a D-ring if you ever need to tow behind a boat or tow with a, another board. You can also make a, sort of a carry handle out of it to carry your board with. Otherwise, you can carry the board from the front bungees here. Fins. Okay. Like the Joyride and Joyride XL models, the Paradise comes with three different fin options. This is a universal fin box, so you could try, uh, buy and try different fins if you'd like, which can be fun. For shallow waters like rivers, you'll want to use this fin. It's flexible, so it's not going to break or hurt your board if you hit something in the water. It also has a very shallow draft, so it'll be less likely to come into contact with something in the water. This click-in fin here is probably going to be your most used. It's an all-around fin, shaped great for this board, and it simply clicks in like this. And then this longer fin here has a little bit more surface area deeper in the water, so it can be a little bit more stable. And you can uh, secure it with this screw-in base plate so it cannot accidentally click out. Hand pump. It's durable, has a double action, so it's pretty efficient, and it's lightweight, which is nice. So it goes in, because it goes inside the backpack with everything else. If you get tired of hand pumping, we also have automatic electric pumps, which are also an option. Uh, and when you're on our website, if you add an electric pump to your order, when you buy the board, you get a nice discount you'll want to get this add-on discount for your paddle, your dry bag, and deck cooler as well, if those items are in stock at that time. Backpack. The board comes with our mothership board bag, which is huge and very durable. There is plenty of room to throw everything inside. Plus, you can use, you could throw some extra gear in here if you'd like. It has, padded shoulder straps, backrest, oh, waist belt, chest belt, outside pocket here, and a Velcro loop for your paddle. There's a smaller pocket here. On the inside, there's a big pocket for the fins and leash and repair kit. Uh, these straps on the outside here, they cinch tight around whatever is inside so it'll all be a nice tight package while you are walking with it on your back 
we did not want to use a plastic bottom and plastic wheels like some other brands because of a few reasons. That extra plastic and those wheels on those bags add some weight. They're not very functional on sand or grass and they are plastic parts that can break. So it just didn't seem worth it to us. This board here weighs around 29 pounds, which isn't heavy, but it's also not a board that we market as ultra lightweight like you might see with some other brands. Ultra lightweight means there is less material being used somewhere, which can mean a thinner and cheaper shell is used, so the board won't be as durable or as rigid. We always go for durable and rigid with all of our boards. The bounce and flexibility of a lot of other inflatab inflatables was something that we wanted to engineer out. So with the multiple composite reinforced layers that we use on the shell of this model, as well as the Joyride models, we, we did just that. The rails are extra reinforced and the seams are engineered to last forever as long as it's taken care of and not stored in the sun for long periods of time. And I think that covers it. If you have any other questions or need help with an order, please message us. We'd love to help. Thank you so much for the support. We love our customers. And thanks for watching. Now get out there and enjoy the water.